Snowy Hydro provided students in the STARS program with the opportunity to enter this competition to name the Snowy 2.0 tunnel boring machine. How are we going to find a suitable person to name it after? This is a future project. So what about a young Indigenous First Nations woman? Most First Nations people, they love to paint. So we settled on an art competition. I now welcome Dave Evans, Chief Delivery Officer, Snowy 2.0 to the stage and announce the winner of the competition. So I'm pretty sure that there's someone down in the second front row by the name of Monica, who might want to come up here. It's a proud day for me to name the TDM after Monica, who's a student here at Schumann High School. Her artwork and the story that went with it blew all the judges away. Moni is one of our quieter girls, um, she slips under the radar, so to be acknowledged on this large scale, I think it's just really awesome for her. When my name was read out, I felt pretty nervous and surprised, but also just really, really proud and happy. It's a massive achievement and something that the girls can also strive to. It gives them that level as young Indigenous women that they can also get there, anything's possible. And it's really doing great things for Indigenous women of the area and the children who will become our future, who will become our construction workers, our engineers, our designers. From Mother Earth, through the animals, through the people, through the mountain and how it brought it all together as one in this piece of, of magical artwork that really depicts life at Snowy Hydro. And so there's a real link back to the cultural heritage and that's what makes Snowy 2 possible. For Monica's name to be featured on one of these big machines is, is something that she can tell people for, you know, generations to come. Knowing that there's something really important out there with my name on it. It feels like there's just, you know, a little bit of me that's going to be just there. TBM4, Monica, that's the one. <laughs>